Hello YouTube, it is Austin Cornell here, or as in my username, Cornell Austin. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego City Fireboat. Um, it is a module, easy build, uh, ages 5 to 10, serial number is 7207, and it is 306 pieces in all. Let's go ahead and get started with the minifigures. Each minifigure has a white helmet, which is very simple, nothing really special about it. Each figure also comes with a life jacket, so that is cool. And each minifigure also, under their jacket, has their own fire uniform. Very cool. Very detailed. Moving on, the only person that actually stands out in these four minifigures that comes with the set is the captain. The captain has a beard and glasses, and he has a silver helmet, which stands out a lot more. Okay, moving on. To the ship. Let's start at the front, then we'll head on back. Up at the front here, we have a little rotating turret. It rotates 360 degrees, like so. And then the water turret moves up and down, which is very cool. This is one of the water turrets on the ship. There are many more to come. A minifigure on it would look something like this. So, moving on. Next part of it is this fire storage. No, it's not really storage, but it's like a sleeping area. Which this opens, and then down there is a little area for sleeping. Very cool. And again, another minifigure would look something like that. Moving on. Here is a little two part set. It is comes apart. There's two compartments in here. I'll go ahead and start with this top part and get down to that little area in a minute. This little captain's area has four windows in the front, two windows on each side, and a little window on that side and a little window on that side. It comes with two little life buoys and on top it has a water cannon on that side and on this side a water cannon on that side. This thing opens so you can see inside. Inside here we have the captain's quarters. That would be a little control panel and a radar with a steering wheel for the boat. The seat in there I added on my own. It looked weird with the people standing up so I added the chair in there. You don't have to do that. Moving on. Next, into the ship. This has, it comes with these two computers, right there, that chair, and the mugs. It comes with four crystal clear mugs. These two seats and this chair I added, of course, because I needed more people in there. One more space. Moving on. Down the ship, we have uh, another water turret. We have another water turret right there. And then, go and skip that for a minute, down to this water boat. This water boat has a blue thing on front, a little engine on the back for extra speed, and it clips on to those two one holes. And then, this also comes with a axe and a, a gas mask. Moving on. To the final piece of this set, which is the most interesting, I think, is this ladder water turret thingy. I don't know really how to pronounce it, but this water turret, it rotates 360 degrees, so wherever you want to turn it, it can. It moves up and down, and this is the thing that I didn't think was going to happen on it. 
But if you were, well, let me get this camera in a better position so you can see. If you were to, let's say, see that white thing? If you were to pull it out, like so, it becomes longer. And you can ex extend it pretty long. So it's longer. Anyway, I believe that this set is a good buy if you can find it for a little bit cheaper than the original price. Most Meyer and Target stores, it would go for somewhere around thirty to forty dollars, which is pretty expensive for a Lego. So I think that you guys should, if you have the money, you should get it. It is a very good Lego. It is pretty. High, I rate it with pretty high stars. So I'll give you one look at the box, so you can decide if you were to get it or not. Hope you guys enjoyed my little Lego review.